Uh, thank you very much for inviting me again. Uh, so I'll just give a brief recap of what we did last year and then talk about what I'm going to do this year. How do we page forward? Oh, there. Okay. Uh, so the last year's hackathon was largely about defining um, how we're going to evaluate compliance with the FAIR principles. So we came up with some metrics and a rubric for defining metrics. And then we created at least one metric per FAIR principle that resulted in this lovely paper. And of course, being uh, fans of the hackathon, we of course recognize the hackathon in, in that paper. Um, this year is going to be about uh, using those metrics for evaluation of resources. <clears throat> So the considerations that are overarching our development of an evaluation tool are that uh, some metrics are, are universal, but other metrics are actually resource specific or even community specific. So we want to be cognizant of that, that not all metrics are applicable to all resources. Um, there are various approaches to assessment that should be enabled, so self-assessment or assessment by, for example, journals or funding agencies, uh, crowdsourcing and automated. Um, assessments need to scale. Uh, to effectively the number of digital objects that exist. Um, assessments should be kept up to date, which means that they need to be automatable. Um, and all assessments should be versioned and publicly accessible so that you can, you can track the evolution of compliance for a given resource um, as, as it becomes more fair. And finally, uh, fairness assessments should not be punish punishing, they should be positively incentivizing the providers of the resource. Um, the technical considerations for building an evaluation tool uh, is that anyone should be a able to evaluate anything using whatever metrics they wish. So it should be completely open. All components of the evaluation framework themselves should be fair, including the results of the evaluation. The evaluation should be as objective as possible, and that is that we should not be making special considerations for special situations. It, it should be completely um, objective. Uh, and it should provide clear feedback for improvement. So if you fail a particular metric, the system should tell you why and what you could do to improve the next time. And finally, uh, it should be automatically updating itself with new standards. And I'll show you how we, how we do that in a second. So I thank those of you who participated in the early stages. Uh, we started using a human readable self-assessment paper questionnaire which we sent around to people and then we mechanized that questionnaire and everybody who used it hated it. So I, I apologize, but I thank you for participating. What we wanted to do was to get a, a survey of how people are implementing the FAIR principles right now. And so for example, we learned that there are many, in fact, I would say too many, different ways to provide metadata about a resource. There can be embedded schema uh, in various forms and that's what Google likes. There can be um, embedded arbitrary JSON and various places in the document. Embedded arbitrary JSON-LD also in various places. Some resources are using link headers, the meta link header. I particularly like that one. Um, there can be simply hyperlinks to metadata embedded in the HTML, which are extremely hard for a machine to find. Uh, there could be content negotiation, which again, I like this one with some caveats. And uh, another method uh, I was told by Leila over lunch today uh, that is being used at, uh, I guess, EBI. Right? So uh, I'm still learning new ways of, of uh, how people are pr providing metadata. And that was the purpose of the questionnaire, was to get an overall feeling for what people are doing and what the assessment is going to have to, have to face when it goes to try to automate these evaluations. So at this hackathon, I'm going to try to move from that questionnaire to a fully automated uh, evaluation mechanism. So the plan is this. Um, is there a pointer? Yes. So the idea is that we're going to have a registry of metrics created by communities. And every metric will come with a testing tool, which is uh, simply a a web, based, a web service based um, evaluation tool, uh, which will follow the uh, smart API interface definitions. Individuals can, sorry, again, individual communities can pick whichever metrics they wish, compile them into an assessment portfolio effectively. So these are the metrics that are important to us. 
a user, any user, can now come along and go to the evaluation system, say, these are the metrics that I like. Uh, they then provide the resource that is supposed to be evaluated. All of the, all of the tools will then be invoked. Uh, and what they use in the background is a resource called Fair Sharing, which is a registry of standards. So, for example, if a tool says, I use the DOI, it will then go to Fair Sharing and say, is DOI a standard, yes or no? And Fair Sharing says, yes, of course, DOI is a standard. And it will say, okay, what does a DOI look like? This is what it looks like. And then it will look at the thing it was given, the resource, and it will say, is this a DOI or is it not? And it will come back <clears throat> with a true or false answer. So we, we test compliance by first checking that the standard is real and then checking compliance with the standard. And finally, at the end, you get an output. Uh, this will be my first hackathon where everything I do is in Ruby. I'm finally converted. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and also, um, I'm going to be working on a gem that I, I wrote uh, in the last couple of weeks for interacting with linked data platform servers. I've completely fallen in love with linked data platform. Um, this is what we're going to be using for storage, long-term storage of the FAIR assessments. Um, and I, so I have a gem that's functional. Um, you can get it in my GitHub. It's functional but not robust. So you can do the get, put, post, delete, um, but there's no test, there's minimal documentation. It does only basic authentication. It's limited only to RDF resources. I can't yet support non-RDF resources. And I've only tested it on the Virtuoso LDP server. Uh, but in fact, I'm not using any of the Virtuoso magic, so it should work on any LDP server. And finally, there's at least one, probably two positions open in, in my lab to do fair work for the next five years, uh, starting in January. So if you're interested, call me. Thanks. Okay, thank you so much.